Welcome to the Stutzman channel. My name is Terry and in this video we're going to be talking about engineering notation when you're multiplying and dividing these numbers. So let's just get right on into it. I have a first example up here. We got 3.18 times 10 to the second power times 2 times 10 to the sixth power. Now we're going to be working with sine integers here so we're going to be adding and subtracting so I've got our notes over here on the side and in this case when we're multiplying numbers that's in an engineering notation or scientific notation we're going to be adding the exponents together. And the first step we're going to do is we're going to multiply the mantissas. So we're going to take this 3.18 and we're going to multiply it times 2 and that should give us 6 Point thirty-eight times 10 and what we do is we look at the 2 and we look at the 6 the exponents and we add them together so you can look at it like this you can say 10 this would be 2 plus 6 that's going to give us 8 so we just bring down the 8 and put it right beside of the 10 our base and that is going to be our answer now we want to put this in the engineering notation. So if I take this and bring it smaller, bring it down to 10 to the 6, that's going to move my decimal over two places. So that's going to be 638 times 10 to the 6. And that's the answer for that one. So just remember that when we're multiplying numbers that's in an engineering notation, we're going to be doing the addition. We're going to be doing the rules for adding and that's going to be the up here in the red. So we did a video on that, a previous video. We went into detail about it, but I put this up over here on the side just as a reminder. If you didn't see the video or if it's been a while since you had sign uh, numbers and adding and subtracting. All right, let's take a look at this here second example. We got 1.2. We multiply it times 2. That's going to give us 2.4 times 10. We add our exponents. 9 plus a negative 5 is going to be 4. So that's going to be 10 to the fourth. We're going to take this, put it in engineering notation. So I want to make this number smaller to make this number bigger. So this is going to be 10 to the third. This would be 24 times 10 to the third power. All right, we have another example. I'm trying to get uh, different exponents here with different signs so we can get a, a variety of uh, different answers here. So 3.6 times 3, that would be 10.8 times 10. We look at our exponents. Minus 3 plus a minus 6 is going to be a minus 9. Now if we look at this here, we can see that it's already in an engineering notation. So that is the answer. Okay, we have our final one here. We're going to be looking at 2.7 times the 2. That's going to give us 5.4 times 10. Looking at our exponents, we add them together. Minus 4, we add it to 11, and we get 7. Now we look at this. I want to bring this down, make that bigger. So this is going to be 54 times 10 to the 6. And that is the answer in engineering notation. All right, so for multiplying these numbers in an engineering or scientific notation, you want to add the exponents. Now let's look at division. Okay, so let's look at an example where we're going to be dividing these numbers in an engineering notation and also scientific notation also works. So if you're dividing these numbers, you will be subtracting the exponents. You will be taking the number up here that's in the top, up in the numerator, and you're going to be subtracting the exponent that's in the denominator from it. For example, if I have my 10 and then I'm going to put my 6 up here first and I'm going to subtract the number that's down here. So 10 6 minus 2 is going to be 10 to the fourth. So that's what we're doing. 
Pretty simple. Let's see what we got on this one here. So if I take 2.8 and I divide it by 2, let's do our mantissimes first, and we get 1.4 times 10. Do my subtraction, 6 minus 2, and I get 4. Now we want to put this in an engineering notation. So if I make this smaller, that's going to make this bigger. So this is going to be 14 times 10 to the third power. And that's the answer for that one. Okay, let's look at this example. We're going to take 3.6. We're going to divide it by 2. That'll give us 1.8 times 10. 12 subtract minus 5 is going to give us 17. Okay, so now let's see. We want to bring down to, so this is going to make this 10 to the 15th, two places, 180 times 10 to the 15th. All right, we have another example 1.4 divided by 2, 0 0.7 times 10. 5 minus 13 is going to be minus 8. Make this number smaller, make him bigger. So this is going to be 7 times 10 to the minus 9th. And for our last example, I had to stick him off to the side over here to give us some room. 3.9 divided by 3 should be 1.3 times 10 minus 5, subtract 8. It's going to be negative 13. Let's do that as an example. We've done all this in the previous examples before the video before this, but let's say if I take minus 5, I'm going to subtract a positive 8, negative 5, change my subtraction to positive. Change positive 8 to negative 8. There's my rule of addition. Like signs, add them together. Take the sign, minus 13. Now let's take and put it in uh, engineering notation. So if I carry this up to 15, that's uh, going to make it smaller. So it's going to make this one bigger. So that's two places. So this should be 130 times 10 to the minus 15. Okay, well that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully there was enough examples here, you know, with multiplying and dividing numbers in engineering or scientific notation that you get the hang of it. So you guys take care and I'll see you in the next video.